Hi guys! So today we're doing a highly requested video. This is my current skincare routine. Now over the years, obviously you guys have seen uh, various skincare routines. My routines change very often now because I'm testing and trying a lot of products. Uh, so this is my current skincare routine that I've been on for over a month now. So I'm going to start with my morning routine. Now my morning routine is very, very basic. Okay, lately my skin has flared out. That's the irony of it. I'm doing my skincare routine when uh, my skin is broken out in the last one week, but I've had my period. I've eaten a lot of sugar and we're just going to ignore that. Okay, um, so I'm going to start with the first product that I use, which is what I use morning and night. So this is the Glutaways uh, face wash. You guys have seen that I've used the whole range. I really like actually the whole routine. It worked really really well for me but I just added and switched things up to test a few products which is working really well as well right now so this is my face wash that I'm using morning and night and I love that it comes with this uh, brush type thing magic so you just put it and you know with the foam you just on most days this is all that I use in the morning and then stop but there are days when I add a couple of things. Let me show you. Now, if it's really sunny and it's a majorly outdoorsy day, this is the sunscreen that I use. I don't really use this like every day, just on days when it's like really, really sunny, really hot, when I'm having an outdoorsy day, um, you know, when I'm walking Mars, if it's really sunny, shooting outdoors. Uh, those are the days that I use this. Just dab it on and, you know, apply it and leave it on. It's really, really light. Like I actually have it on today. Uh, you don't feel it at all, which is what I like. Like, I don't like sunscreen that leaves a white cast or that you feel like this doesn't do that. And it just feels amazing. And this is the sunscreen I would use if I had to use sunscreen all the time or sparingly like I do. The next product that I have is my Clinique Anti-Blemish Solution. You guys have seen this in about 100 videos and I'm currently using it again because my skin is breaking out. So whenever I have um active acne or pimples or whatever it's a spot treatment i just put it onto those spots leave it in the morning through the day if i'm not shooting and stuff like that or at night as well like i do this twice if i have actual acne if i don't have acne i don't use this at all now coming to my pm routine again you guys know that i'm not someone that likes to do very elaborate things i like to keep things simple uh, which is why I'm currently using these two products. So these are by The Ordinary. These were sent to me in a PR package and I've heard a lot about the brand and I've like people, you know, swear by it. So I thought, okay, let me try them both together, which is why I kind of stopped using my heavy night cream also to see how well they work together. And before this acne stint, they were working pretty well together. So let me break them down for you. So the HA serum um, is a lot thicker than the L'Oreal one. I'm just going to compare the two because I've used them back to back. I really love the L'Oreal one as well. This one is definitely thicker in consistency when you apply it, but both get absorbed really easily. You know, like it wasn't like, oh my God, one feels sticky or, or the other way. I just felt like that was more uh, thinner in terms of the liquid consistency. This is a little thicker, but both went on pretty easily the same way. And I used this moisturizer over this because obviously you're supposed to moisturize after using, you know, hyaluronic acid. Like I really love the way hyaluronic acid makes my skin feel like it's plump, it's fuller um, and it really feels alive, you know. So a lot of the times when I'm shooting, I use it before makeup or just for that pick me up. It's not a regular AM PM thing for me because I don't wake up and I put like 50 things on my face, as I said. But when I'm shooting, when I'm going to an event, sometimes even midday, I add these two in. Uh, they work really, really well together and I just love the whole concept of HA serum and a moisturizer. I feel like it has really changed my skincare routine forever now. I don't think I can go back to the non-HA days. But yeah, loving this one, like the L'Oreal one as well. What I'm going to do next is drop the moisturizer and try it with my other like night cream and see how it holds up then. So yeah, I'm experimenting a lot these days, but it's fun. Then there are two more products that I use at night on some days. So around once or twice a week, I use this guy. This is the Laneige sleep mask that I apply all over my face. And like you sleep with it, like it's an overnight mask, which I really, really love. You guys have seen me use this for quite a while now. 
and I think it's not something I use every day. Obviously, it's something you use once or twice a week. Or whenever I've had a really tiring day, like when your skin is like fatigued and you feel like exhausted, this does wonders. Or if you've been traveling and stuff like that, you know, when your skin feels dehydrated and it wants that sudden burst of like hydration, great for that. The lip mask, of course, I use like two, three times a week or whenever I need to. Uh, it's not something that I do every night right now because my lips are not so dry. But with winter coming, I know I will be doing this every night. It's amazing as a lip mask. If you're someone that has dryish lips like I do, it works really, really well. And last but not the least, we have this guy. So this is my makeup remover. This is the Bioderma Sensibo uh, Micellar Water. I have been using this for many, many, many years now. And it's something I swear by for makeup removal. All my makeup always comes off with this and it's great for sensitive skin if you have like reactive skin like mine or skin that gets red. Again, you know, speaking of sensitive skin or reactive skin or any kind of skin, um, I just want to say that with skincare, everything is like a trial and error process and you've got to try things yourself to kind of figure out if it works for you or if it doesn't. Don't take my word for it or someone else, you know, online because Everybody's skin is different and what worked for me may not work for you. What worked for you may not work for me, which is why very often I try also a lot of cult products that are amazing for some people, but they don't work for me. So I think uh, the point of these videos is just to share what people are using and in terms of for me to, to share with you what I'm using, what I'm liking. And if you have a similar skin type, yeah, it's likely that it will work for you. But sometimes that might not happen as well. So. Uh, before investing in any products, larger sizes, please, I would say buy the small sizes, buy testers, try it, try any kind of skincare for, you know, usually they say 28 days, but at least two, three weeks to see if it's working for your skin. So for example, right now, even though I've broken out, it's not like I've stopped using the products I'm using because I was using them before and I didn't have like acne. It's just happened over the last one week. But sometimes it takes a while for your skin to adjust the product to kind of, you know, um, work its way through especially with like active skincare um, and things that have chemicals in it it's going to take some time so either go to a dermatologist that's qualified to you know direct you and help you with your skincare or watch this and you know see what works for you try and test and figure what works for your skin um, in no way am I saying this is the best routine ever for everybody because that's never going to work for everyone. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, speaking of this, this is my favorite, favorite um, like makeup remover. I've used this for many, many years and this probably everyone can try, I'm guessing, because it's just a makeup remover and would work for most skin types. But it is something that I love. Like I just feel like sometimes, as I said, I even use it just as a pick me up with a cotton pad in the middle of the day if I'm like feeling like blah and like dead and I'm like, okay, psh and you're alive again so it's just one of those products that's really really good gets all the makeup off and uh, i love that it comes in a really large bottle for someone like me that knows it works for me and i use it i get the big size because i really really feel like it lasts forever so guys that is my current skincare routine as i said it keeps changing um right now these are the products i'm loving a few months later they might be different but i'm really enjoying experimenting with my skincare and seeing what's working for me and what's not working for me. Earlier, I was very, very safe and I really stuck to like three, four things and I just used them for years and years and years. Now I'm a little more like experimental and I'm liking it. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below with your current skincare favorites and your skin type as well for people, um, you know, different skin types. Because I feel like uh, it's not just me here who's here to give you guys gyan. In the comments, your skin type and what you're currently loving in terms of skincare. See you guys. Bye.